why Prince William and Kate are still sending Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis to school. There has been a lot of change in the royal family since the Queen's death but the Prince of Wales has revealed he is trying to maintain a sense of normality for his three children. On Sunday, while out on a walkabout with the Princess of Wales, his brother Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, William revealed Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are still going to their new school despite the Queen's sudden death. Kate, William and the kids had just moved their lives from London to Windsor, with the children starting at Lamrock School shortly before Her Majesty died aged 96 at Balmoral. Despite the ongoing changes, the Prince of Wales explained how he and Kate were keen for the children to have as much continuity and normality in their lives as possible. School teacher Elaine G, from Woking, told people of their conversation, Prince William spoke about George, Charlotte and Louis, saying that they were trying to keep some sense of continuity for them at school and keep things as normal as possible. She added, Kate and William were both very kind and gentle and genuine. It was very special, definitely a moment I will always treasure. Everyone spoke of their delight in seeing the FAP for reunited in Windsor over the weekend. The Princess of Wales also told mourners outside Windsor Castle about the moment her son Louis consoled her over the Queen's death. Louis said at least Granny is with Great Grandpa now, Kate was overheard saying, according to one onlooker outside Windsor Castle. In other royal news, it is thought in time Kate and William, both 40, will move into Windsor Castle with their three children. Why Sophie Wessex and Prince Edward's son hasn't been seen since death of the Queen. Sophie Wessex and Prince Edward united with other members of the royal family over the weekend as they stopped to view tributes to the Queen outside Balmoral. The royal couple looked emotional as they spoke to members of the public and viewed the many bouquets of flowers left in honour of the monarch. They were joined for the walkabout by the daughter, Lady Louise Windsor, who touchingly held onto her mother's hand as they walked towards the crowd. Notably absent, however, was the couple's son, James, Viscount Seven. While there has been no official word on why James did not appear alongside his parents and older sister, it's likely that Sophie and Edward made the decision in order to protect his privacy and keep him out of the spotlight. James is just 14 years old and no doubt still coming to terms with the loss of his beloved grandmother. Sharing that grief in public may well have felt like too much pressure for the young teenager. It is thought, however, that James will attend the Queen's funeral, which will be held at Westminster Abbey on Monday 19 September. Sophie had an especially close bond with her mother-in-law and looked visibly upset as she arrived with her husband at Balmoral last week. In recent years, she was widely known as the Queen's favourite and when visiting Balmoral or Sandringham, she was often spotted in the coveted spot in the back seat of the Rolls-Royce with the Queen on Sunday morning rides to church. 